Good morning again. Sometimes technology doesn't always work for us. So good morning and welcome to Unity San Diego's morning meditation. Sometimes the outer world is in turmoil and is causing us to be unpeaceful. But today let us remember that we can go within to reach that peace that is God and that is spirit. And so let's breathe together and join in prayer as we know that there is one power and one presence, and that is God. Dear Precious Spirit, we thank you for our connection with you. We know that there are many things going on in our world that seem out of joint. And so we return again and again to the land of our soul and to the peace. We turn from the unreal to the real, from the darkness into the light. And in that centered place, we go forth with what art is ours to do. But we remain peaceful and centered and energized by your love and your joy. And so we pray this in the name and through the power of the living Christ presence. Amen. So today's daily word is guidance. And it's nice to know that we can return again and again to that innate knowing that's connected with divine wisdom. And so let's think about the times when we've gone into prayer and then we've been able to adjust our outer to connect with that vibration of goodness in our inner. And so we take one moment at a time, we're mindful, and we know what is ours to do. Yesterday, I had the opportunity to pray with a family whose lovely uh, mother had passed at home, and it was it was hard because each person had their own feelings of loss. But as we bid her farewell in her earthly cloak as she left the curb, we were able to come together as a group to pray and to feel that inner strength. And so the guidance that came to me was to ask them if they'd like prayer, and they said yes. And so it wasn't about me, but it was about spirit being there present among the family and being able to give them each some peace as they said farewell to the earthly body of this dear lady. And so we continue to bless the family and the families in the world whose children and husbands and mothers have passed. There's a lot of unrest going on, and so we continue to know that as we go within, we will get that guidance that we need in order to make a difference in this world. And what this world needs now is love, sweet love, isn't it? A lot of love and a lot of interpretation of what we can do to bring God back into our lives and into the lives of others. And so let's breathe together knowing that we can trust our innate knowing that's born of divine wisdom. Let's say that again. I trust my innate knowing that is born of divine wisdom. And again, I trust my innate knowing that is born of divine wisdom. Now if we don't stop to sit in the silence, we won't hear that wisdom. And so we need to daily practice the silence and know that we can connect with the good that is within and around us and through us. And so let's take some deep breaths right now and then let's go into that silence and see if we can bring back some of that peace that we need for today. So breathing in and breathing out. There's a breath practice of breathing in for four counts, holding for four counts, breathing out for four counts, holding for four, and then starting the cycle again. So let's try that and see if the peacefulness returns to your body as you get more oxygen. So breathing in to four, holding for four, breathing out for four, holding for four. 
Breathing in for four. Holding for four. Breathing out for four. Holding for four. Try it again now a few times on your own. See if there's more calmness over your body and take several times today when you stop whatever you're doing and, and try that breathing exercise. And I'm sure that it can help you be the person that you're meant to be. And so the Bible verse for today is a lovely one. It comes from Isaiah 58, 11. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your needs in parched places, and make your bones strong, and you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring of water, whose waters never fail. Isn't that a beautiful image of a garden and of water and the beauty of nature? Try to go out in your yard today and see that beauty. It's starting to rise up already with our rains. It's almost like spring, only it's our, our winter greening in San Diego. And so sit in your garden if you have one, if you don't have a patio, if you have a patio with a little plant, anything that is green and beautiful. And so rest in that silence in the garden and be aware of the sounds of the birds, of the sounds of nature and the wind. And many of us live in cities, so the sounds are traffic and sirens and people. But in those sounds, too, there is hope. There is the connection with each other. And so being still is helpful. If you, have a, if, you, if you have a dog, sometimes it's hard to be in that stillness. But the dog is reacting to sounds and knows that its job is to guard and to protect. And so we are grateful for that sound. We had a, a member in church when we were able to meet who brought a lovely, lovely dog and at the end of the peace song, the dog would always bark once as if to affirm, yes, that's good, that's true, and that's that's wonderful. And I always like to think of the dog, you know, when you spell dog backwards, what do you get? You get God. And so our pets are our friends. Our pets are a reminder of spirit in so many ways. So let's breathe again together and go into that silent place and listen for the guidance and for what is ours to be and to do.
what can we control? We control our thoughts. We can't control the outer. The dog will bark. The sirens will come. But we can control our reaction. We can respond, not react. And we can think peaceful thoughts, regardless of what we see, and what we hear. And so we return again and again to that infinite energy within that shines brightly and we see that connection and we feel that connection and if we're silent we can hear that connection and so be peaceful despite what goes around around you be joyful be loving be the beloved that you are. Acknowledge that in yourself and in others. And go forth with that joy, knowing that all is well. I've been reading about Julian of Norwich, who is a mystic, and she lived through the plague. And many, many times we think of the plague as a one-time occurrence, but it occurred over and over again for many years. And despite people dying and people having no knowledge of where this plague and this disease was coming from, many people were able to live, to connect with spirit, and to write beautiful words to encourage us. And so we know that we can too live through things that are awkward and horrible, and we can move forward into the place that we are meant to be as the beloveds of God. And so take heart through every action that you take and think and do, you can be a peacemaker. Peace starts with you. So join us each Sunday for our lovely service at 10 o'clock on Facebook. Also, you can call our prayer workers. They're available from noon until 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and they await your call. We have many times when there aren't any, any calls and we're still holding the high watch and holding prayer for each of you. So we love you, we bless you, we behold the Christ in you, and we are thankful for your presence, for your donations, and for your love. And so as we close with prayer, we say thank you, thank you, precious spirit, for the delightful way that you come into our lives in so many ways to make life better for each of us and so we continue to connect we continue to be that peace and to be the action that is necessary as we glean that wisdom from our time in the silence and so we say thank you mother father god in the name and through the power of the living christ presence we pray amen bless you dears and join us again tomorrow at 9 o'clock for another meditation.